Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program entitled Sights and Sounds of England. Come share with me as we experience the beauty and pageantry of England, the music of its stately churches and cathedrals, and the scenic beauty of its cities, towns, and countryside. Thank you for joining us. Today we visit the well-known city and cathedral of Gloucester, overlooked by the Cotswold Hills in the lush Severn Valley. The city of Gloucester is perfectly located and easily accessible from all corners of the country. Whatever your length of stay, you'll find there's so much to see and do. From its Roman foundations to its Victorian docklands to the great cathedral, Gloucester is a city you will not want to miss.
Gloucester is best known for its massive cathedral. The cathedral is open daily, and visitors can appreciate its 900-year witness to God and enjoy the glories of craftsmanship in wood, stone, and glass, old and new. One may follow the steps of the monks through the exquisite fan-vaulted cloisters. The tomb of Edward II, the great east window, the cathedral exhibition, and the crypt are just a few of the delights waiting you during a visit to Gloucester's pride and joy. The Gloucester Cathedral is an amazing church. God has been worshiped here on this site for over 1,300 years. At first, there was a small Anglo-Saxon monastery early in the 11th century as Benedictine monks came to live and work here. William the Conqueror ordered the construction of the present building in 1089. It was called St. Peter's Abbey and a community of monks lived and worshiped here. Henry VIII dissolved the abbey, and in 1541, this church became the cathedral, which was the seat of the Diocese of Gloucester.
Saturday at noon, if you arrive at the Gloucester Cathedral, you will be able to experience the music of the Morris Man Dancers and instrumentalists who play the traditional music from the Cotswold, which is the area in which we find the Gloucester Cathedral. Gloucester Cathedral, in part, dates back to the 17th century and today possesses pipes which were found in the organ built in 1666. The casework dates back to the year 1579. Over the years, additions and restorations made by Hill, Harrison, and Nicholson have been made, and today the organ consists of 59 stops and four manuals. Not far from Gloucester, we find one of the most beautiful grand English manor houses in all of England. It is called Chatsworth, and the building of this magnificent mansion was started in 1549 
and the family of Cavendish has lived here for over 450 years. Of special note at Chatsworth are the magnificent gardens where visitors come from around the world to see the many varieties of flowers and trees. Upon returning to Gloucester, we once again marvel at one of the greatest of all English cathedrals, the Cathedral of Gloucester.
The great English cathedrals were without doubt some of the greatest achievements of the Middle Ages. Few edifices built since that time can compare to their beauty and grandeur. These buildings of ecclesiastical splendor gave expression of the faith of the people in a living personal God as they fashioned lifting spires and towers far above the earth to the greater glory of God. In the building of England's splendid cathedrals, the Romanesque style gave way to the Gothic in the 12th century with the amazing flying buttresses, pointed arches, and ribbed vaults, all with the purpose of pointing the worshiper heavenward toward eternal thoughts, hopes, and goals. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled Sights and Sounds of England. Together we have shared in the beauty and pageantry of England with music from its great churches and cathedrals. Oh, praise you the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.